Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to be using the master add-ons for Elementor. Fantastic new plugin. It comes in two flavors, a free version and a pro version. And you get all kinds of extra widgets to add to your free Elementor. And they really got some great ones going on here. In our last video, we created this animated headline up here. Today, we're going to create a flip box. Now, flip, box, flip boxes are very fashionable at the moment. I see them on a lot of websites. And it's a great feature. You've got a nice image there with an icon. When you flip it, it's got a bit more info and a call to action button. So let's get started. I've got my Elementor open on this page. And here's our Elementor grid. Here's the free Elementor widgets right there. If we roll on down to the bottom, here are all our master add-on ones. And today I'm looking for a flip box. There it is. So I'm simply going to left click, drag it over to my second column here. If you're new to Elementor, it comes with one column as standard when you start a new section like this. To add a new column, simply go to the first column, right click on it, add new column, and it'll give you another column like this. So as you can see, it's put something in there. Not really exciting, but we can customize it pretty much how we, how we want. And if we go over to our little style tab here, you've got various different animations and styles. Flip vertical is the one we're on at the moment. You can have it fade, which will just fade to the next one. Cube rotate top down. That's quite a, quite a nice little effect there. And like I say, they've got a lot of them here. I'm going to leave mine on flip vertical. That's fine. And they've got design variations as well. Front image, diagonal, front icon. That way we've got to choose an image. I'm going to use an image anyway. That's a little different design there. So I'm going to leave mine on the default and we'll build from there. Okay, well, let's go back to our content. First thing I want to do is what, what do we actually want with this? Well, I guess I'll make the same one as we've got here, which is that little car with a car icon. So you'll see icons right there. They're actually grouped alphabetically. So I want a car one. So I'll go up to the C's here somewhere. There we are. All right, well, there's my little icon, which is okay, not particularly exciting, but we'll style it up a little bit. I'll leave the view on default, title text, whatever you want as your title. A little bit small, obviously. Now there is a box on the front for description here, but there's no real place on the front for a description. It's more of a, a card icon beginning. So if I put it in there, you, you can't see it, it's not there. So we'll leave that one blank on the front. Alignment, I think I want everything in the middle. That's great. Now let's style up our, our box here. So if we go over to style here, We've explored the design variations. You can choose a bigger height if you want to. I'll leave mine just at 250. That works for my image, which is great. Here's our front box. Background type. Well, if you put it on simple classic, you can add an image. That's what I'm going to do. It'll take you to your image library. I guess I'll use that same image I used before. There we go. And I can only see the top corner of that image there, which isn't going to work too well for me. So position wise, I want it to be center center. And size wise, I want it to cover. There we go. That works better. 
Now here's our title color. I can't see that very well. Let's make that white so it stands out. That's a bit better. And I think I want it a lot bigger than that. So if we hit the typography just below it, we can bring the size up to wherever you want it. Something like that works for me. Don't want to change anything else on the typography there. But icon size and icon color. Again, I'm going to make my icon white. So it stands out nicely against that background there. Yeah, I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. OK, let's put a border around our icon there. To do that, we need to go back to the content. Here's our icon. View. Stacked. Framed. And that'll put a little border around it. I don't know if you can see that, but it is actually there. I want to make it into a circle. It already is. You can have it a square if you prefer. Now, if we go back to our style and down to front box again, you'll notice that the icon has now got a border type. Well, I want to make it solid. I'll make it, ooh, let's say, two pixels or three pixels, something like that. And I want it to be white. There we go. That stands out quite nicely. Now let's do the back box. Let's go to our content again. Go down to back box and hover over it. Again, we'll use that car icon. Let's say test drive or something or whatever it is you'd like to say. Again, I'm going to take that up in style a little bit in the style in a moment. I think I'm going to align everything to the center again. And let's put some lorem ipsum in for our content. There we go. Perfect. Now we could circle that car, but I don't I think I'll leave it like that today. Now down below we've got our call to action button. It just says buy now. So if we go in there and say learn more, of course you say exactly what you want to say. And put your link in down below. I'll just put a hashtag because I've got nowhere for it to go. And of course, if you're linking to an external site, go into the link options. You can choose to open in a new window. That way your site stays open. If it's on the same site, just leave it like that. And we can go in and style that too. We'll go back to our style. Here's our action button. See what we want to do with it. Okay, I'm going to make the typography a little bit bigger. Maybe a little bit too big. Let's say about 16. Weight and everything's fine. But I would like to have a little board around it so it looks more like a button. Border type solid. Don't want any border radius, but I will give it sort of two pixels. How does that look? There we go. That looks pretty much like a button. And you can do extra padding if you want to. So let's give it... Uh, 10 pixels all round and see how that goes. Maybe not quite enough. Yeah, that works for me. That's fine. Looks like a regular button. I think I want to make my title a bit bigger and make the background a little more interesting. So let's go back to back box. We're still on the style tab here. Here's our title. Here's our title typography. Just going to bring that up. 32, something like that. You can increment with these little arrows to fine tune there. Okay, that looks good. Right. Let's just make that background a little more interesting and we're good to go. So, background type, back box. I'll use a gradient. First color, make it some kind of blue as everything else is sort of blue. Second color, let's make that black or very dark blue perhaps. How's that look? And just for fun, we'll make it radial rather than linear. There 
there we go that looks kind of interesting and I'm gonna take that background color away from that button I believe it's okay but here's our background color for the button we're in style action button I'm just gonna take the opacity all the way down fantastic just what I wanted so let's update and there's our little flip box and that's a nice little feature if they're mousing around your site go over that they're going to be looking at it so once again that was the master add-ons for Elementor I'll put the link below this video so I hope you've enjoyed that if you have please ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesign and tech tips.com Thanks for watching. Have a great day.